My name is Steven Whitaker. I am a songwriter, producer, and UPS driver here in the Portland, Oregon area. And uh, the album is Edge of Oblivion, and it's 13 songs, and most of which are a collection of songs I've written over the past 20 years. From when I started to when it was actually finished, mastered, I'd say it took me about, about a year and a half to where it was mastered, and I had a finished product and a CD in my hand. And it was, a, it was about a solid year of just sitting in my home studio. Making this album was a just a complete team effort of me bouncing my music off to a drummer in London, Matt Dean, really talented guy. And then once I get that back, I'd send my tracks off to a guy named Bill Watson, who runs Nash Track Studios in Nashville. And he had a couple really talented bass players who would fire the bass tracks back to me. And then I'd take them and run with it. In fact, the guy that mastered my album was really surprised and really impressed with what could be accomplished in a home studio. Makes, that makes me feel pretty good because uh, he deals with professionals all the time and professional tracks. So that was a pretty nice compliment. I learned a very valuable lesson from the guy that mixed it, James Lugo. He told me, you never finish an album, you walk away from it or you abandon it. And it's really true. I didn't, want to, I didn't want to call it done on any of these songs, but I knew I had to. At the end result is I think each song came out about as good as I could hope hoped it to be. And in the, the end product, after 20 years of procrastination, I'm pretty happy with it. My intent with this was to get it done to have it off my bucket list and you know move on with my life, whatever that next step is. I feel like some songs were quite a bit better than what I actually thought they'd end up being. I was actually pleasantly surprised, and you know I think most people like me are our own worst critic. And you know there's some songs on the album that I you know I'd love to change a few things and go back. I remember that day was a sky filled with hate. All the thousands inside tried but could not escape You said what a shame as you finished your hair I just don't understand, is there anyone there? Don't you wanna know, don't you even care, don't you ever think about it? Are you ever real, don't you ever feel I love being creative and I, I have been since I was a kid. I was always kind of artistic in one way or another and when I got my first guitar when I was 16 years old, something just kind of clicked in me. And I was no virtuoso. I didn't like instantly learn every Van Halen song or anything like that, but it just clicked with me. And the creation of be able to write a song, to write lyrics, to convey something that means, that matters to me and put it to music and write that music. And then when I was in college, I got my first little four track cassette recorder and I fell in love with the actual production of creating little songs. When I create a song, it, it is kind of, the, it's whatever I'm thinking about, whatever is important to me at the time, everything I got, you know. I'm not the best guitar player, I'm not the best singer in the world, I'm not the best producer in the world, um, but it's everything I can to make that song as good as it can and to say what I want it to say. It's an amazing process. Words really can't explain it. It's just this magical moment of zen. To me, there's nothing like it. Some guys like, they like to race cars. Some guys like to golf. I just have a creative mind that I need to keep nurturing that and I can't stop. And when I, when I have that moment of zen and something awesome happens and I'm hearing the whole kind of orchestra of rock, <laughs> Sounds kind of cheesy to say that, but the whole orchestra playing at once is just, it's just incredible to me. In that moment, to me, it's freaking awesome. <laughs>